All right. Um, we're gonna try making some uh, grape juice here. Um, have some grape. Uh, we're gonna have to boil water. You may or may not know it, but there is a huge um, social responsibility uh, that people have when, uh, you know, they're living everyday life. Uh, because your actions have an impact on everything around you. And so, one of the biggest threats to civilization nowadays is a global warming. So you can take some ice cubes and uh, when you're boiling water, put it here. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a summary here of uh, some things I learned from uh, former President Al Gore. Wait a minute. All right. have a little paper here we wait for the water to boil. I don't know if you can see. Wait a minute. Um, okay. I'm going to put this here. All right. So this is a line, okay? And another line, and another line. So this is a temperature, okay, in the world. And uh, wait a minute. I'm going to use a pen. This thing is too dark. Wait a second, okay? So, the normal temperature here, that's normal temperature. At this temperature, this is really cold. So, ocean turned into ice. And here, that's the hottest you can get. And oceans evaporate. And here, this is the little medium where oceans boil. Okay? So, initially you had like the time of the dinosaurs, and it was like a little bit hotter, but not really. Then you had some little ice age. And then here, uh, you have uh, Julius Caesar. And during Caesar's administration, uh, temperature went back more or less to what it was like in the dinosaur time. But sometimes went a little bit down, then a little bit up. Then you had the Middle Ages, and the Middle Ages uh, was very stable, not really much happened, you know, and it was a normal uh, thing. And then uh, the United States elected uh, Jimmy Carter, and uh, under Carter's administration, it was, you know, status quo and everything was good. But then what happened? Uh, the Americans elected uh, Ronald uh, Reagan, and under Reagan's administration, temperature began rising, 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 and it, it seemed like things were going to a crisis, you know. But then there was uh, uh, George Bush, who uh, got there, and, and when George Bush was president. The temperature began rising and rising, 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 and it got past the point of uh, boiling of, of the ocean. But then what happened, um, we had the Bill uh, Clinton, and when Bill Clinton was elected, the temperature slowly began to get back to normal, you know, slowly, 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 slowly. But then, uh, when the Supreme Court elected uh, the other George Bush, uh, all the efforts made here by Bill Clinton were canceled, and the temperature just started exploding, 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 past the point of ebullition and past the point of evaporation of the oceans. And just went so you see, there's no way anyone can deny global warming. 
when the graph is so clear, you see? Now there are several factors and uh, one of the factors is the invention of uh, kitchen machines. You see, in machines like this, you're boiling water and you're not using ice cubes to counterbalance the temperature and uh, it makes the temperature go up because back then uh, people were boiling water th through natural means. They were just waiting for a fire and when there was a fire they would go and put the water there. When, you know, so back then it was natural. Another uh, really huge, huge problem is uh, overpopulation. And because of overpopulation, it increases the amount of time. I'm going to stop this for a second because I need to finish to explain this. It increases the amount of time that people pee. Okay? And the more you uh, pee uh, in the, the, the bathroom, um, you know, the, the pee here, it makes a little steam. And, you know, when the, the water goes. Uh, from the bathroom and you know it goes in the tunnels under the city there's this little steam that comes up and the steam hits the clouds and you know the clouds kind of like redirect the steam uh, from uh, the pee uh, on the, the, the trees and you know things like that so that's a problem and so that's linked to uh, overpopulation more people are peeing and uh, when uh, Bill Clinton was president he um, did something very interesting. He passed a, a law that was very much criticized by the Republicans and was uh, the 210 law. It means that it's illegal to pee more than twice for every 10 minute uh, period. So when you pee, okay, you pee, and if you want to pee again, you have to wait 10 minutes. And that's a very important thing that uh, a lot of people forget. And um, so if you continue to elect the the Republicans who are out, ah, who are for all this freedom thing and you know small government and everything, you know they're going to re restrict all these uh, you know rules that uh, protect the environment, you know. Anyway, so we're going to go on with the the grapes here. Um, wait a sec, eh? The water's boiling. Uh, we're going to put the ice here. Uh, wait a sec. Uh, I need something to put the ice. Uh, the grapes in, uh, I think, okay, yeah. no, this is not going to work. Okay, this, a plate. Got a plate, and I'm um, going to put the grapes uh, in the plate. And now I need to open this, it's too hot to touch, um, maybe with the ice. Uh, Fuck. Wait a sec, eh? Um. All right. Ouch. The letter from the bank. All right. Well, this is some grape juice. Um. It doesn't seem to be working too well. We're going to use a blender instead. Um, ah, damn, my pen was melting. Oh, gee, thank you. Ah, what the hell? Something, ah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I have a blender here. Oh. <sighs> okay, <sighs> wait a sec, huh? Okay. Uh, where is this? All right, grape juice. Ah, oh, oh man. Damn, why is it so difficult? How? Ah, something. Why do people in restaurants, you know, touch like bowling water and stuff? and they never get sick and stuff like that. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. All right, some grape. Well, where was the... Oh, this is too much. 
I'm gonna cut this in half. <sighs> Damn, I'm tired, I'm tired, and nothing's working here. Okay. Well, the best recipe is when you buy a frozen meal, just put it in the in the oven, and you know you push on the button, it's ready. All right, so we've got it. Some grape juice. We put pepper, and there you go. Environmental friendly grape juice. Uh, certified by Al Gore to uh, be a good recipe to protect against global warming. Yay!